Lot number 100 is a 2002 Ford Ranger. It's got a 2.3 liter, four cylinder engine. It started right up, the motor sounds great. The battery is dead, totally dead. So it needs a new battery. I'm gonna start it for you, I got the jump box connected. Let me start it up so you can hear this engine, how good it sounds. It's a 2.3 liter, 16 valve. All righty, here we go. The motor sounds great, listen. Motor sounds great, no doubt. The transmission engages, running nice and smooth. All right, let me show you the body. The body has certain headlights are dull. It's got little rust spots, as you can see, from chips that never been touched up. The decal on the door was painted over with a spray can. Uh, the tires look good. They have a lot of thread. Tread, I keep saying thread, tread. All right, and uh, toolbox looks good. On the roof, you're gonna see surface rust, paint peeling, the paint is faded. Back here, they painted over the number with a spray can and they oversprayed on the lenses. The rear bumper looks nice and straight, no hitch. Got these numbers that will be painted over as well, just like the sides. It had a Linus protection. As you can see on the bed, the bed looks in pretty good shape. The body is super straight on all sides. I don't see any dents or damages. I'm keep I'm gonna keep looking. I already showed you the surface rust on the roof. The painted over the decals. The paint is peeling on this black trim. The mirror has a piece of tape, I don't know why. Here you have a scrape, which turned into a surface rust scrape. Like I said, the tires look really good. The headlights are dull, the front bumper is oak, it looks good too. It's amazing, but this unit only has 36,899 miles. Very low miles. Let me show you the inside. The seats are good. No rips, no tears. The headliner looks good. The steering wheel is nice. The dash is good. I found the lower panel and these cables hang hanging because they removed the GPS units that were connected here. So they all took it apart and threw the panel that goes underneath there, right there. So all you need to do it's put it back together, but it's all there. 36,899 miles. The door panels look good. The battery is dead. This jump box uh, turns off automatically after a few seconds of running and it doesn't stay running because the battery is so dead. There's no power staying. Okay, I'm going to turn on the AC, see if it engages. Let's see. All right, the AC is engaging and disengaging. All right, that's a good sign. That means it's probably low on Freon and the compressor engages and disengages intermittently. That means this car has been sitting here for a long time and I'm getting in it and it does feel it's getting cooler but you do need to check it out because it's low on Freon and it may evaporate with the sun for sitting here for so long and it just turned off because my jump box turned off so the battery is really dead I recommend you bring a new battery I, I'm gonna check the alternator to make sure that the alternator is good and post it on the website so just in case, because my jump box cuts out automatically, but when the battery is very bad, they, they don't stay running. So let me, uh, I'll post it on the web, on the, on the video. I mean, not on the video, on the description. All right, that's pretty much it. Good luck.